and away we go! <laughs> welcome back, I'm Tedward, welcome to Bozeman, Montana, and welcome to the 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X AEV edition. We're getting muddy out here in the wilderness. I've got Eddie X over here, best drive partner on these trips. We love it. And on our way from the airport to the Montage, because we're going to stay at some really like bougie, nice hotel tonight, uh, we decided to go off the beaten path and find some squiggles. And so far, we have gotten pretty darn muddy. I'm excited that we are not already stuck. So hey, don't have to make any phone calls to GMC, but I think we'll be just fine. There's very capable truck, not to mention the fact that we have this uh, pretty dope winch up here that, hey, we may need to learn how to use today. Don't say that. I mean, what an adventure, Eddie. But I do want to get back to the montage because I'm really jonesing to get in that hot tub and the pool because it's a nice resort. But in the meantime... I mean, that's the best of both worlds. It's the apre off-road, right? You go out to the hot tub after that. But anyway, I'm pretty psyched about this. We've already spent a bunch of time with the Sierra AT4X back home, but I haven't really gotten to do anything off-road with it because those New England trails, man, oh man, they are narrow. And unless I want to return a press car with pinstripes from all of the branches on the side, I can't really do anything but out here we found some decent roads it's getting muddy uh and we need to go get ourselves out of here hopefully before it rains or snows and i think we'll be okay so snows let's tomorrow. load up into our 6.2 liter naturally aspirated v8 there is a diesel version of this kind of wish we took that but this thing is pretty awesome yes Hang on, I, I'll put it in neutral. There we go. Nope. Still limited even in neutral. Smart guys, smart. They knew we'd be here. Let me try to get in without getting all muddy. Uh, <laughs> you wore the wrong shoes, I, Eddie. I keep doing this. Like, <laughs> nice dress shoes, school Hans to an off-road truck trip. All right, so what are we doing? We are, let's go for low and we have a lot of mud. You also can tell you're in the middle of nowhere when there is no phone signal at all. Yeah, so everything. the optimistic, oh, what if we have to call GMC to get us out of here? Uh, no. Not happening, <laughs> not happening. There's no, no chance of that. So anyway, now we're gonna go descend the little hill that we climbed and let me blast. Uh-oh, do we have any, come on. Where's the, there it is, there it is. Oh man, it's the button. Unnatural, unnatural, just let me pull. Anyway, getting through some of the mud. We gotta dump some of the mud off of this. Now, mud train tires, sort of slippery. They definitely caked up fast and it's probably due to the terrain, but maybe this is like a plug for the, uh, geez, I don't know who could have done that. Um, maybe this is a plug for the MT2s from Firestone because these, aren't exactly doing the job. We did go up and back through there. It was a little rough. It was a little dicey. We did a 17 point turn to flip around. Yep. I decided that backing down that was a little risky a little and I think it was the right decision because we were sliding down a lot of it anyway. At full lock. At full lock. <laughs> so let's see. Do we have a hill descent control? We must down here somewhere. Right, here. right there. All right. There we go. Two miles per hour. All right. Let that go to there. That's good. We came up this hill earlier, and now obviously we're gonna go down this hill. Much less muddy here, it was muddy earlier on. We've got hill descent control, we got Tedward at the wheel, a newfound, ow, I just hit my head, off-road expert. We're gonna get Eddie a helmet for- I should've brought for... a helmet to this, I just smacked my head on a B pillar. Oh man, start the trip with a concussion. Not actually, just kidding. Hill descent control, how's it working? 10 miles an hour. It's doing the job. I'm giving it a little throttle and stuff, okay. but it's letting us slow down. Um, I'm still very much kind of slidey just because we have really caked the heck out yeah. of these tires and it has not really evacuated that thick, dense mud from the tread. So you just gotta be a little cautious. And I have, because this is a GMC, because this is like luxury. I mean, remember this is like an 88 or $89,000, 1500. That's a lot of money for a 1500. Um, obviously very, very capable and very good. We've got our boron stamped 
Uh, Steel skin Look at that. <laughs> Falling into the ruts. So I'm not afraid to like hit rocks and stuff. It makes me feel pretty confident in, you know, exploring something with this truck and not feeling like I'm going to bring back a cracked transmission or differential on the way. Um, now, the good news is I can tell exactly where we came from. <laughs> because of the fresh this. marks. <laughs> yes. Actually, I think we do go straight though, because this wrapped around. Yeah. So we forked off that. Yep. We'll just crank up here and we'll kill the hill descent. Still in four low. Still in yep. four low. But I have a heated steering wheel. This is like genuinely a luxurious vehicle. We've got massage seats which I always forget where the button is, and thankfully Eddie guided me verbally. He didn't have to reach across <laughs> and get real comfortable, but uh, <laughs> we, made it, round button. <laughs> we made it happen. Um, let's see. I don't know if this is the right way. Yeah, it is. We're back on Google. Uh... <laughs> where the hell do we go? I'll no, this the is the way. wrong way. Yeah, All right, around. we'll flip around up here. We had a 50-50 shot, we went the wrong way. Isn't this a great road? I love off-roading because I love finding a squiggle and just yeah. being like, that's the spot. Um, I'm glad it's actually decently wide too because like some of the off-road trails are a little too narrow for something like this. Yeah, it gets really tricky on some of these trucks, but you know, I feel like out here, look at this, we've definitely got our, our, our typical Starlink, millennial, uh, <laughs> living out of a van kind of life thing happening over here. That's great, we like to see it. Cliche Creek? What? That's what it says. Go that way. There's a little bridge. Cliche. Cliche Creek Outfitters? Cash. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so used to the straight pipes. Kill me. <laughs> That's an A, right? Yeah. All right. We don't need four low right now. We can... <laughs> oh, I have to slow down to three miles per hour, so I can go into four high while still moving. Let's see. No, it's still going to make me do it. Okay. It kind of made me optimistic that I was going to be able to do that. All, All right. the squigglies just keep going up that way. Too. Yeah. So let's, we'll go over the creek. We'll see what this is about. Because like, why not explore? Like, this is fun. And we will just won't take the chances we were taking earlier. <laughs> no chances. We are confident. Uh, oh, yeah. This is great. I mean, it's actually telling me to go this way, to turn around. It's like, that's the exit. Now, we were just out in Seattle driving all kinds of fun overland trucks. And the scenery out there, it's like Jurassic Park. Montana's a little different. It's still incredibly beautiful. The trees are not like, you know, 10,000 years old or anything like that. But um, I think... A truck like this is really suitable for this kind of terrain and this kind of environment because in Boston, a truck this big can be really tricky. It can be a hard thing to park. And what is this place? You said Jurassic Park. It's the Montana. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no trespassing. trespassing. I'm going to trust Montana on the no trespassings because they will shoot us in the face. And I've got this incredible camera, which I absolutely love. It's helping me so much in this environment. Although I have made Eddie stick his head out the window a couple times. And then almost hit me to face with a glob of mud. I mean, that's just the price of <laughs> off-roading. But this is super helpful to be able to like explore this without messing things up. Now with the AEV package as well, we have steel bumpers front and rear. So that gives me also a bit of relief because other than trying to avoid pinstriping on the side of the truck by hitting trees on the sides, I don't have to worry too, too much about making an attempt at a climb or descent because if I, if I do tap something, I'm not crushing a plastic bumper cover. I'm actually just using a steel guard, which is fantastic. Now, maybe not the most pedestrian friendly thing in the world. So I guess the moral side of me needs to oppose that for someone who's just using this as a mall crawler. But um, I suppose if this is something that you're you're actually gonna do some wheeling in and use it properly, then like, heck yeah, go for it. Have you seen the size of this truck? No pedestrian, it doesn't matter what the, it could be made of marshmallows and it would still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pro 
probably a fellow YouTuber, uh, one would assume, right? <laughs> is that this is where he lives now? If that that's got to be a, a pretty likely bet. Oh, we found a friend! Fallen firewood, or hay, or something. Definitely getting the steering back. The mud has evacuated from the treads. That feels nice. I definitely enjoy that. And we've got a Nissan Titan ahead of us, and he looks like he's just on, like, straight up, all like, all seasons. <laughs> that is... <laughs> no, he's got something more interesting than that. But, like, that's the thing, like, a typical pickup truck is going to get you pretty far. The only thing is, how far do you want to go before you risk getting stuck? And that's really what it comes down to. Because when we go up into some of the muddy stuff, that's where a mud train tire is really going to be the difference between a fun day and a long day. And sometimes the long days can still be fun. But honestly, it's not fun when you're not sure if you're getting home or if you're going to have to go walk down to somewhere where there's cell service so you can call for help. Luckily, our AEV has a winch, and that winch is giving me a lot of comfort knowing that um, I could probably figure my way out of this in the event that we really got in a pinch. Now, does the V8 Titan have canyon etiquette? No, sir. But he does have a heck of a lot of firewood. So let's get back down the hill, out to the main road, and we'll see how this thing looks out in Montana. And this is now more about Montana than the truck because uh, we've driven the truck. I like the truck. The truck is good, but man, it's already snowing up in those, up in them there hills. And uh, we gotta go to our probably like $1,200 a night Oof. montage it's <laughs> resort. My it's my mortgage per night. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I would kill for a $1,200 mortgage. Some of us spend yep. all their money on the cars. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a great that's a very low mortgage. I'm looking at probably like three to four thousand dollars when I get into whatever I'm getting into. I got lucky and locked in at two point like six percent. You heard it first, Eddie. With the financial advice, just get a time machine. Yes. Go, go back, back six years. Yes. And buy yourself a place at a low mortgage. Actually, rate. no. Screw that. We're playing that game. Go buy a gated Mercy. Ooh, and a Courage GT. That's <laughs> and LFA, buy everything. <laughs> buy the LFA. Yes. I promise it's gonna look expensive at 400 G's, yeah. but it's going up. Worthy investment. Buy a Carrera GT. Call Jimmy Rapazzi. Get him to service the whole thing. Put it on bring a trailer. Boom, two million dollars on your 800 thousand dollar investment. Right. Huh, well, no, go even further back. They were 400 grand like eight years ago. Really? Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Because they're a level of four GTs. That's crazy. Can you imagine? Yeah. The steering is super light and approachable. Um, it doesn't mean that I feel everything through my fingertips, but it does mean that I'm pretty confident in, in making maneuvers fast. And when the road does grab those front tires, it doesn't rip the wheel out from under me. That's a big thing. And like, for example, an FJ Cruiser has really direct steering. It's obviously hydraulic. And if you've got those thumbs locked in here, if you hit the wrong rock, you hit the wrong set of uh, tracks, boy, oh boy, are you in for a surprise when it rips that straight out of your hand. This is not gonna do that, but down here, we have a raging river in the road that we're going to be taking up to our hotel. This is just unbelievable. We're down here. It's dry. It's cool. There's a little bit of mud, but up where we're going, they got a foot of snow. So we're going to go play in the snow pretty soon. Let's see. Can we get this into two-wheel drive? And then where is our traction track control? Off, don't you? Yeah, of course. You want ESC off all yeah, the way? Yeah, all the way. Go. There it is. Okay. Just make sure that there's. We're all clear. Traction that's not a ESC is off. And that's not a camera. No. Good. And away we go. <laughs> Two wheel drive. Traction off. ESC. Will it slide? Absolutely. She'll slide. Yep. Let's evacuate all of the mud. 
<laughs> and honestly, this thing just has such like lovely road manners. It's a it's a, it's a good place to be. I love driving this on the street. I think I think. Oh, look at this fly fisherman over here. There's so many fly fishermen in here. This is crazy. It's kind of cold. But, you know, these trucks are so usable and they're so capable. But the thing that gets me is they also do feel like luxury vehicles. And that's just so striking is that you're able to, to go and play off in the trails. And then you could do a really long road trip hauling some stuff in a trailer, hauling some stuff in the bed. Um, you could probably get away with camping inside this thing because there's such a huge back seat. I bet there's like a, a, a squirrely way to do that if you didn't have a roof nest or some kind of tent. But I mean, you really could pay this money the $90,000 entry fee. Oh, look at these beautiful houses. I keep getting very distracted. Montana's beautiful. And use this for like every scenario. It's your work truck. It's your play truck. It's your off-road truck. It's your family truck. And it's luxurious so it looks pretty good if you're picking up clients or something in it so yeah let's get up to the montage see what they have in store for us and then tomorrow we're gonna get into the hd trucks the 2500s the diesels and we're gonna go do some pretty gnarly off-roading i hope and there's big horn sheep crossing <laughs> oh man i would do anything to see a big horn sheep cross right now so Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. This is just a little taste of some off-roading in this thing. Uh, don't forget to respect the drive. And now, Eddie is going to drive. Oh, yeah.